That's and the truth. Should. And if you want, you can go to Kiwanja, mm -hmm. to Ruchuru, and we are going to meet the president of the Hutu community. Mm -hmm. They said we killed them, and he will state about what I'm telling you. That's the truth. Why can I be being um, ma managing Masisi, Ruchuru, where there is Hutu, 80% of the population is Hutu, then I come to kill only Nikiwanja. Mm -hmm. And I'm here since four years. Mm -hmm. How can you imagine that? It's not true, madam. Mm -hmm. it, it in the same scenario to Goma. Because if you Even in Goma. Ah, the same scenario. He remind me. The same, the same scenario was prepared in Goma. When we were around Goma, mm -hmm. my, um, my intelligence services told me that there is a plan to kill people in Goma that night so that St. B can bear them on the head that they killed. Mm -hmm. That's why I told my guys to not enter Goma. That's why you pulled back yes, from Goma. That's yes. the question everybody I was informed. I was informed that there is a plan. And in the same night, when they were thinking, because they, were, they, they put their guys on the, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the terrain to kill in the night, they were uncontrolled forces. When they these these who were in charge of killing uh, never know that we withdraw. But I told Monuk because I was there, I, I was at the airport. I told Monuk now I'm going 12 kilometers uh, behind back. Mm -hmm. Now you have to control Goma because I know that there is a plan of killing. Mm -hmm. In the same night, 64 people were killed. Mm -hmm. In was Goma. The, that was the FARDC, was Yes, it? yes. The plan one now, they, they did it without knowing that Sende Pe was mm -hmm. withdrawn. In the morning, now they were not Sende Pe in Goma. It was a... Now, in the meeting they, was, they were doing it, one of ours was there. Because they did it like Hutu community. Mm -hmm. With their leaders. One of them is a Sende Pe member, but he remains Hutu. He remains Hutu. And he can go, he's trusted in their community. Mm -hmm. He was there. Then he called me, he said, we were in a meeting. Now there is a plan of killing who to this night. That's why I said, okay, pull back. Mm -hmm. But they did, without knowing that we are not going to come. They did. That's what they did in Rusturu. Because when they came, they said, we go to kill and we know that we are not going to stay there. Sendepe will purchase us. But let us kill. Mm -hmm. Then they are going to bear these massacres. Mm -hmm. And we will tell Hutus that Sendepe is coming to kill you. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the president of the community Hutu in Ruchuru was there. And he knows very well who killed them. That's why he wrote the letter. He said, if Sendepe would have not came, it would have been a disaster. And this letter is there. We are going to give you a copy. And the phone of this president... And if you want to meet him, and if you want, I can call him, he come to meet you to Bonagana. Okay. Yeah. Now, Monuk asked to the people to come and do a, an, an internal displaced people in Kiwanja. When I came, I went to the camp and I told the population there, there is no house here. You are under rain. Please go back to your home and I'll be in charge. If someone will be killed, I'll be in charge. I take the charge of your security. Please go home. And in the, the morning, following morning, they say that Kunda um, forced people to leave. I'm asking people to go to their homes. And I'm taking in charge their security. I'm in charge. Monu cannot take in charge the security of Congolese. Then it's a crime because I'm asking them to go to their home. Mm. It's not understandable. But go in Ruchuru. You are going to find 90% of the people in their houses. Mm -hmm. A small group around Monok. Mm -hmm. Then ask them, in this 95% back, who was killed? Mm -hmm. Who was raped since I told them to go back? It's not, you cannot force someone under rain to go to his house. Maybe you can force someone to leave his house, mm -hmm. but not to be back. And this is a crime. 
is a crime. I, I, I one, one day I told the responsible of Ocha, the one in charge of um, humanitarian affairs, I told them, if, I, if we do a um, statistic in the camps around Goma, each week there is around 100 people dying of different disease. Since Sendepe exists, you accused me to have killed 70 people in Ruchuru, 30 people in Masis. It's 100 in four years. But you are killing 100 people each week in your camps. That's a powerful Please ask them to be back and accept to be killed at a rate of 100 for four years instead of dying of dying 100 in one week a cndp kill uh, will kill 100 in four years but you are killing 100 each week but you are not you are not doing um you uh, for you it's not a crime it's normal 100 each week but for cndp 100 for four years and even today you are not sure of what you said because we asked for an investigation and you are not doing you are, you didn't accept so let them back now you can go in the ritual you are going to see they are in their houses they are cultivating and go and compare their life and the life of those in the in display in, in, uh, in the displaced camp they are different they are different. Who is now criminal? <laughs> the one maintaining someone out of his house and the one securing someone in his homeland. Mm -hmm. Who is criminal? But because Nkunda um, is known like that, now the world accepts it like that. But what I know is that I'm going, I'm doing for my people. And I cannot be courted by someone doing business here. I'll be courted by my people, not by someone doing business in the name of humanitarian affairs. I'm not, um, I'm, I'm not caring even. Because I'm in charge. Now I can do and I have to do. But they are doing business. They are paid for being in Congo risk or so, but I'm not paid for it. But I have a responsibility for my people. Yes.